Tonight we're here for Night of Adventure. It's a really inspiring evening whether you are an armchair enthusiast or planning to walk to the South Pole. As a charity we set up services that help families stay together and prevent children being placed in institutions. The whole evening is an aid of a really fantastic cause and since 2010 we've raised almost £100,000 to help open homes for children's work. We've got record breakers, and pioneers, and explorers and um, world leaders in the field. Um, genuinely excited to see what's all going to go. I'm Amy, and this is Ella. And tonight we are talking about our adventures and what we do and the opportunities we have. I'm Phoebe Smith, I'm the editor of Wanderlust Travel Magazine. I'm also author of a book called Extreme Sleeps, Adventures of a Wild Camper. I hope that they, um, they go away and try and do something, no matter how small an adventure, they just realise that it's not sort of the realm of the, um, of the people who go and do these big epic expeditions. They can just go and do anything that they set their mind to. Doing the kind of things that adventurers do is a great equaliser. Um, it doesn't really care whether you're a man or woman, the outdoors. The grass is your mattress, the, um, the mountain is your headboard. Uh, it's, it's such an incredible feeling. My name is Rebecca Riley and I'm going to be talking about my 10 year odyssey as a bike messenger when I was writing a book about bike messengers. That's me and my first bike. I wanted a tractor. I didn't lie. Eating on the road can challenge a vegetarian. It is never too late to get out there and fulfill a dream. It's worth running six marathons in seven days across the Sahara. So these were the kind of sand dunes that I was running over. I did become the first person in the world to cycle to the South Pole. Uh, when I was nine years old, I told my teacher I wanted to kayak the channel, and she told me that I was like crazy and no one had done it, and everyone was like laughing at me, like, how you know you can't do that? A journey of a thousand miles starts with a single step, but he wasn't very forthcoming with that single step. <laughs> so I'd just like to close with the words of a young girl called Katya who is living in an institution in Ukraine. We want to live in a world where we can see our grandparents, sisters and brothers. Where we have friends and we can play with them and where our mother kisses us goodnight. Thank you so much for coming tonight and for helping to give Katia and thousands of other children the loving family that they dream of and that they are entitled to.